Right, I just want to make a uh, quick video about um, investing in property, shares, house prices, what I think is going to happen, um, just a general uh, rant. Um, now, you know, house prices, um, at the start of the coronavirus, I, I was sort of looking at house prices. I bought a property about uh, six, seven months ago. Um, which um, I got for really, this was like round about when the Brexit was on, which I got for a really good price. Um, it was on for 160000 It's like a three bed terrace. Uh, there was a tenant in place, so the tenant was paying 675 a month, and I picked that up for 150 um, And I reckon I got a, a good bargain. Um, and you would think now, you would think to yourself, um, oh, I, I bet that's lost 10,000 or whatever, or 15,000. But if you actually look on right move at the um, house prices, it's gone up in value. Um, all, all these people saying, oh, um, you, you know, the, the, there's bargains to be had and um, house prices are dropping. I can't see it. You know, where I, I live, in, uh, in um, born in Lincolnshire, I don't think the, the prices have moved at all. You know, I don't, I don't think you. There's no certainly no bargains to be had, and I was looking for mortgages. I was I was looking on uh, like this week. I've been looking on uh, the internet at what the best mortgage rates you can get. And again, you know, like like the mortgage rate I got on mine, I think I got something like two point three percent from the mortgage works when I bought mine. Um, that's not available anymore. So the the best rate they can do is two point nine nine percent, three percent. So the the Bank of In interest, the Bank of England interest rate's gone down to to, to virtually nothing, and they're on about it going um, minus rates, aren't they? Um, but you know, in reality, um, mortgage providers have put their rates up. So the, so the you know, Bank of England's put their rates down. And mortgage providers have put the rates up. The best rate I could find online was from the from Lloyd's. I think it was Lloyd's had a good rate, and Halifax had a good rate, which was I think it was um, one point nine nine percent, or you could have it from the Halifax at two point zero three percent or zero four percent. But the only thing with them is you needed. A forty percent deposit, so loan to value, um, they were they were it was sixty percent. So if you were buying a hundred thousand pound house, you'd have to put forty grand down and borrow up sixty, uh, which is which is hell of a lot, of, which is a lot of money, isn't it? You know, uh, I don't, which I don't think is very good for uh, you know if you if you've not got a big deposit. Um, so there's that. So I, I reckon as well, you know, it's like these house prices, you know, people are saying, oh, the house prices are going to drop, you know, get yourself a war chest and you'll be able to, you know, buy a cheap house. Honestly, at the minute, I can't see it. You know, we think that there's going to be loads of people made redundant after the furlough ends in October. Um, but I, 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 to be honest with you, I, I can see the house prices dropping 5% max. I, I don't think they're going to drop. I, I honestly don't think they're going to drop. Um, I've also been looking at um, shares. You know, like in the so in the past, um, you know, many sort of years ago, um, I've dabbled in shares. I've bought shares. I've sold shares. And during the last um, crisis, I bought a load of shares. I bought like Halifax. No, well, they're not Halifax. Uh, Lloyd's, um, Centrica. Um, Marsden's, loads, loads of different shares. I, I went out and bought about ten grand's worth of shares. Stuck them in a um, share ISA. This was like probably in two thousand and eight, two thousand and nine. Um, and then a year later, they'd gone up like ten grand. Or two years later, they'd gone up. So they doubled my money um, in maybe two years. You know. And I, I'd kept a few shares, but fortunately, all the shares that I had, I'd sold. Um, prior to my last purchase, which was about seven months ago, um, so I've got I had no shares because I needed needed the money for a deposit to buy another house. Um, so now, so at the minute now, I've just I like I don't know six weeks ago, something like that. Um, I, I just started buying shares again, and I bought shares. I bought um, shares in Rockhopper Exploration. Now this is just like Falklands Oil shares. Um, and 
like I said, you know, ten ten years ago or you know, eight, yeah, ten years ago or nine years ago when I bought shares, I did the same trick. So I bought um, ten grand's worth of shares in Rock Hopper Exploration, and they, um, I think I bought them at something like twenty one p. And about a year later, they went to 44p, 43p, and I made like 10 grand. I sold them, and I made like 10 grand profit. So I've just done that again, and I bought these Rock Hopper oil shares, and they were, uh, I think they were 6, 6p, 6.73p, or something like that. And I see now they're like 8p, nearly 9p. I've made like 40% already on them. Um, but but it, it's like all these things, you know. I, I see like the shares, you know, people are, are piling into um, like um, the, the British Airways shares, you know, IAG International, the the company that owns British Airways, you know. So you could have got them for about um, one pound ninety, one pound eighty, and now you know, f f three weeks later, they're three pound twenty. Uh, people are sort of piling into them, but you know it's like with shares. You look at shares, and you think we've only got to get another wave of coronavirus, a, a, a second wave, or um, you know high unemployment, and then you know the shares are going to drop back, aren't they? So it's like a bit of a mystery to me. You know, I sort of think to myself, what do you invest your money in? Um, are you better off just spending your money? I've just been looking at. BMW 6 Series BMWs. I thought to myself, I thought, well, if I make a load of money on my shares, I could uh, go and buy a car. But then I think to myself, would that make me happy? You know, I don't do many miles. Having a flash car sat on the drive, um, what's it all about? Is, is that going to make me happy? Probably not. I think, think my cars, one of the best cars I ever had, I bought a, um Austin Metro. Um, from somebody at work, I paid 150 quid for it. Um, I had it for about two years, and then I sold it for 200 quid. Um, so I made 50 quid on it. It didn't cost me anything for two years, and it had a big hole in the bonnet, and it was rusty. It hadn't done many miles, but I tell you what, it's one of the best cars I've ever had, and that was 150 quid. So I think spending a lot of money on lavish things that you don't need is uh, just a waste of time. But this is my uh, quick rant about uh, house prices and shares and things. Um, few food for thought, I hope that helps. Okay, cheers, bye.